Let's create this parametric ceiling in 60 seconds. Create a box with a negative height value. Then apply an array modifier on top of it. Set the mode to spline and pick the spline from a seam. Next, change count to fill to fill up the spline. Now let's apply a data channel modifier. Click on add operator and add a distort operator. Create a noise map in the material editor and plug it into the distort input. Next, add a transform elements operator. Right click on it and change the type to replace. Set it to position and disable X and Y axis. Then add a vertex output and make sure it's set to position and replace. Finally, add a slice modifier and set type to remove positive. You can adjust the spline and noise to change the model look. Join our training today to master 3ds Max.